All right, good morning, everybody. Today is uh, August 26th, Sunday, around 11.50 a.m. I'm actually going to an open house today from one to three. One of my agents in the office needed some help with an open, so I said, why not? So I'm gonna hold Clover next week open, and then I'll just do uh, this other current house on Fountain Hill Road open today from one to three. Um, hopefully we'll get some activity through there. I like meeting new people. Um, signing them up with the Space Hill app, that's always great. Um, real quick, update on Clover. I had a uh, verbal offer on Clover, um, but both parties, I mean, both parties are too far apart to even come close to countering or anything like that. Which kind of sucked, because I would have been the, uh, I would have had both sides of the transactions. They would, most likely would have written the offer with me, and it's my listing, so I would have gotten the commission on sides so that totally sucks but that's all right um the house is worth more than they're really offering but i get how they need some upgrades but anyways i am going to my office right now i am going to do some searches for at least two different clients that are looking to buy maybe the third one i can't think of think of them right now but i know there's actually two people looking to buy like the one that got away a couple days ago um, and do some searches for them and then maybe I'll even do some searches for the people that put in that uh, verbal offer on Clover send him his way I mean where, where's the harm in that anyways I'll let you know how I will it's a nice house so I'm going to vlog as soon as I get there hopefully I'll be early it's only two minutes away from the office here so I at least have a good 40 minutes of office time to do those searches before I get over there but um, hopefully I'll have enough time to walk around the entire house with the phone and show you all the beautiful property. I don't always hold other people's homes open. But when I do, no one shows up. Everything was double insulated. And these walls are twice as thick as they need to be. You can see the spiral staircase. I'm not going to walk up it now, but it has a little uh, workspace up there. Five bedrooms, three full baths, full security system. This room is separate from this other one. I'm going to show you real quick. This one is the connected one through to that's where I sit anyways you could uh, walk through to the master bath boom master bedroom and again an entrance to the back deck and then we go all the way out and around. Living room to my right, to my left is the ballroom. Seriously though, I have so much better luck on my own listings than other people's listings. <sighs> Anyways, let me show you around the house. It's a little left or two. Um, no one's been here yet, but that's all right. It's actually a really cool, funky house. It was. Built by the current owner back in uh, 92, and he's an ar architect. There's a lot of cool different things. The first thing is, after you walk in the front door, you walk right into this gorgeous room. He calls it the ballroom. He used to teach ballroom dancing in here. Huge surround sound, huge ceiling, very spacious. Kitchen, dining room, two different entries to the back deck.
about seven and a half acres. Just like my listing on Clover, this listing also has some fruit trees and a bunch of grapevines and raspberry bushes. He's been cleaning out some of the trees to make extra lawn space um, in case any of the new buyers have any kids. Um, in the basement, his uh, mother lives down there, lived down there, um, handicapped accessible as well with the, uh, with the chair right there running up and down. That's pretty cool. And it's a totally, um, you could lock that door and, um, have a private residence down there. You could actually rent it out. It has its own private entrance from the back of the house as well. So you could come and go with uh, no one knowing. Anyways, had to make a couple of phone calls and contact customers, so that is over with now. So now I'm gonna hang out till about three o'clock. Hopefully, someone comes through. I like meeting people and talking with them. And who knows? Maybe someone will want to buy it or buy something else. Sometimes I just like talking to people. It's easier to talk to people that actually are honest and want to talk to you. Some Most people that come through open houses are uh, very awkwardly shy and quiet, and they don't really want to talk to me at all, which is fine. But, um, yeah, hopefully someone else comes. Someone pulled in all the way and then decided to turn around and left, leave. That kind of stinks, but, yeah.